Is a heated topic. Why is Pluto not a planet? Let's find out about the controversial rule change that led to many people's favourite planet being demoted to a lowly dwarf planet. It's hard to believe until 2006 we didn't have an official definition of a planet. Since the time of the Babylonians we knew of these bright objects in the sky that didn't move like regular stars. In fact the word planet comes from the Greek for wandering star. The ancients knew about Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter and Saturn. Then, much later, with the invention of better telescopes, we discovered Uranus and then Neptune. Then, in 1930, Clyde Tombaugh discovered Pluto. And Pluto is named the ninth planet in our solar system. With a handy mnemonic to remember them. Post discovery, other large objects, such as asteroids, were discovered in orbit around the Sun. The region past Neptune, full of these rocky objects, was called the Kuiper Belt. We also knew of an asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. But the objects discovered were always smaller than Pluto, so Pluto's status as a planet wasn't challenged. Then, in 2005, Eris was discovered, which was slightly bigger than Pluto. So if Pluto was a planet, why couldn't Eris be one? So in 2006, the International Astronomical Union, or IAU, redefined what it means to be a planet and Pluto suddenly found itself demoted to Dwarf Planet. To understand why Pluto lost its planetary status, we need to look at the IAU's criteria for what makes a celestial body a planet. According to the IAU, a celestial body must meet three conditions to be considered a planet. One, it must orbit the Sun. Two, it must be massive enough for its gravity to shape it into a sphere. And three, it must have cleared its orbit of other debris. If you can imagine each planet is on rails travelling around the Sun, to be a true planet there has to be nothing else travelling around on the same set of rails. So a planet like Earth has nothing else orbiting in the same path. But Pluto shares its orbit with lots of icy rocky Kuiper Belt objects. So while Pluto meets the first two criteria, it's the third one where it falls down. Because Pluto hasn't cleared its orbit of these other objects, it doesn't meet the IAU's third requirement, and so it can't be considered a full-fledged planet. So, Pluto isn't a true planet, and so was designated as a dwarf planet. Dwarf planets are celestial bodies that share some characteristics with planets, but, like Pluto, don't meet all the criteria to be considered fully-fledged planets. And Pluto isn't alone. Other dwarf planets in our solar system include Eris, Haumea, Makimaki and Ceres. Eris, Haumea and Makimaki are out in the Kuiper Belt, and Ceres is located in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. There are many other contenders too, such as Sedna, Gongong Gong, and Quayor, and maybe 200 others in the Kuiper Belt alone. So, there you have it. Pluto is no longer considered a planet because it doesn't meet all of the IOU's criteria for planetary classification. Unlike the other eight planets, it's not cleared its orbit of other lumps of rock and ice. That might not be the end of things though, as there's still quite a bit of controversy over these three rules, and who knows what will happen next. Will we go back to nine planets, or will we end up with hundreds? Only time will tell. So what do you think? Should Pluto be a planet again? let me know in the comments. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll be back with some more videos soon. Thank you very much for your time.